Welcome back. Uh, it's summertime, which means patio season. And Dr. Bruce James Romano joins us now to add that special something to your patio experience. Absolutely. And today we're going to talk about a good summertime wine. Exactly. It's summer. Yes. It's hot. Sure. Who wants to drink a dry red wine when it's hot? Not Probably. everybody. Not everybody. No. So, but... You're not a white wine guy. I can tell just looking at you. You're right. We've spoken in the past. Yep, I'm not yep. particularly fond of white. So well, there is another option. There is an option, and you can chill it. Oh, yeah. You Rose. see it? In fact, all of this should be served reasonably cold. Okay, that's good. Rosé. Rosé. Kind of the middle ground. The middle ground, and exactly. And you know what? Because it's the middle ground, it goes with just about everything. Yeah? Yeah, you can find a rosé that works with anything okay even a steak what, honest what is the I believe it what is there in particular to look for when you're when you're going to buy a rosé well one of the things you have to know is rosé in Saskatoon is not a good sell you know we are having a hard time here embracing our inner pink mm -hmm. you know now you've got an almost pink shade on your I tie suppose there. there's something just in a there. little so yeah. you're 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 easing yourself into that market <laughs> I got no problem wearing pink okay well there you go <laughs> you can embrace your inner pink but they're growing. Actually, this is starting to be a trend. People are okay. starting to realize these wines really work for them. And there's, the thing is, there's about 10 now in the SLGA. Three years ago, there was three. Okay. Okay. So now it's starting to catch on and just find one that suits you. All right. So what do we have here then? Well, here we have one that I've never been sure who this is aimed at, whether <laughs> it's trying to get guys to embrace their inner <laughs> pink or it's aimed at women. But... Be that as it may, it's Canadian wine if you want to embrace your inner Canadian. Strut. It's from uh, VQA. <laughs> it's from BC. And it's actually a very nice, uh, lightish rosé. Okay. You know, it works well. It's fairly dry. All right. Good. Uh, ba Bear's Kloof? Bear's Kloof. <laughs> Bear's Kloof is bone dry. This is for the red oh, wine really? drinkers okay. in the crowd. Made out of Pinotage. So it's sort of like if you're, are you a Pinot Noir guy? Yeah, a little uh, bit. Okay, well then you ought to give that a try. All right. That's we'll sort do. of where that one's coming from. Bear's Kloof. Uh, this one, was that Malapal? Malapal from Argentina. Are you a I Malbec am, I guy? I am a huge fan of Malbec. Bingo. Here is your wine. Okay. Okay. And then this one I've seen, this, this, uh, this pink brand pink uh, brand really you know what the thing everybody forgets about bubbly wine is it's a wine yeah you know like you don't have to break it out only at new year's or when you're trying to propose a uh, thing about bubbles is it, it does uh, allow a little more refreshment yeah factor yeah into the thing, which this is, is like a about. great cocktail it's off dry very very slightly sweet goes with barbecued meats like barbecued pork and barbecued steelhead oh, and yeah? trout and fish like you would not believe okay. and it's cheap it's like 14 bucks oh i love it all right so some great options here if you're maybe not into red maybe not into right rosé is uh something to consider and uh in just a little while dr booze will be back and uh, we'll have some more options for the patio a little bit un more unconventional. All right, we are back now with Dr. Booze, James Romano, and it looks like you have brought us some juice for breakfast. I have brought you some grapefruit juice for breakfast. Really? Have you noticed the trend in flavored beers? No. Oh, there's like malt beverages, malt beverages with iced tea, malt beverages. Okay. You know, with okay. strawberry juice. All right, I see. Okay, this goes way back. Do you have you ever had something called a shandy? Yeah. Yeah. What well, is that? it's a half beer, half lemonade. And it was basically given to people who were outside in the summer getting exercise and stopped by the pub for a brew. Oh. The Rattler, if you remember that label, is actually aimed at the early cyclists because they would get on the bike, huh. they'd have had a couple of good German brews, and... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No, it's true. <laughs> so they cut it with about 50%. This is actually only 2.5% alcohol, which is something I draw to your attention because it's an excellent idea when you're sitting around on the deck and you know how you can soak up more than you think. Yeah, you can. Okay. Well, also, I'm it tastes this great. Thing. It really tastes great. I like that one. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, so that's a Stiegel Rattler. I think it's okay. buck 99 I Oh, great deal, too. Okay. Now, you've... Uh, you've you're going to show us something called the Kier. The Kier, a wine cocktail, very, very popular in France. Okay. And it's quite straightforward, which is, of course, for most of us, really important. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right about that. And this is just white wine and a little bit of creme de cassis. Creme de cassis, which is what exactly? Blackberry liqueur. Oh, okay. And have a sip. Oh, sure. Yeah, I, if I must. 
chug it, chug it, chug it. <laughs> Easy. I have a show to do here. Yeah, so. I know. That's what I was kind of thinking. Only, I got to go watch the rest of the news. Only halfway done. Now, this is That's the one. Good. That's good. That very is good. very good. And this one is how you upgrade it. Oh, okay. This Just is add called. bubbles, right? Is it is a I... Cure Royale. Okay. So in go the bubbles. Cure Royale. Okay, and uh, and so that's a wine cocktail, and you can do a lot of things with wine. People never really think about. You can actually mm. play around with this. Now, you know, if you want to go into your presentation mode, you know, embrace your inner Martha Stewart. You can do things like that. Sure. Why not, eh? And it's this here is creme de cassis is actually blackberry, so ideally you wouldn't put strawberries. But there's, <clears throat> you know, the Argentinians make a bubbly with uh, little raspberries in it on the shelf here. Really? They're, oh, yeah. There's a lot of people doing fruit juices and wines. And, again, very much like the beer, it's, um, it's, it's been being done for hundreds of sure. years. It's a natural thing to All do. Right. And, again, if you're not using... If you're using juice as opposed to cure creme de cassis, it cuts the alcohol <laughs> It count. does, and it's also very refreshing. It's uh, very refreshing. I encourage you to try it when you're out there enjoying this weekend. Dr. Bruce, James Romano, thank you so much. My pleasure, sir. DrBruce.com. <laughs>